Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is archiving, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content records, and business processes. This module is one of two to explore the principles of ensuring digital longevity. Part of the Secure and Preserve Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program, it will cover Analog to Digital Conversion, Refreshing, Digital Migration, and Digital Emulation. Simply put, Analog to Digital Conversion means capturing an analog signal in digital form. A bit more technically, it's an electronic process in which a continuously variable analog signal is changed without altering its essential content into a multi-level or digital signal. One common and well-known example of this kind of conversion for storage and preservation purposes is scanning a paper document and converting it into a TIFF or JPEG or PDF file that can be stored on a hard drive, CD, or other digital medium. Intelligent Character Recognition, ICR, is another used if the image involves text. The reasoning behind this task is that once digitized, a file is relatively easily converted from one digital medium to another with no loss of quality in a process known as refreshing. Refreshing involves periodically moving a file from one physical storage medium to another to get out from under the physical decay or the obsolescence of the original medium, a process likely to be necessary many times over as the introduction of new technology continues. Along the same lines, digital migration involves periodically moving files from one file encoding format to another that's usable in a more modern computing environment. A good example is the moving of a WordStar file to WordPerfect, then to Word 3.0, then to Word 5.0, and so on, perhaps all the way to the latest, Word 2010. Migration seeks to mitigate readability issues associated with having files that are encoded in a wide variety of older file formats by gradually bringing them all into a limited number of contemporary formats. Digital emulation seeks to solve a similar problem, but its approach is to focus on the application software rather than on the files. Emulation backers want to build software that mimics every type of application that's ever been written for every type of file format and make them run on whatever the current computing environment is. So, for example, with the proper emulators, applications like WordStar and Word 3.0 could effectively be run on today's machines and those older files thus read and reused. This module is one of two to explore the principles of ensuring digital longevity. In it, we explored analog to digital conversion, refreshing, digital migration, and digital emulation. If you haven't already, you may next wish to review the module that covers media degradation, media and hardware obsolescence, and format and software obsolescence. Otherwise, you may wish to move on to the section on e-discovery. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.